Hi everyone, uh, welcome to another monthly draw. In this case, it's September's monthly draw. And uh, I keep saying every month, it goes by really quick. It's amazing how quickly it comes comes round. And uh, I know uh, over the last few months we've had um, basically given away a lot of flies, a few boxes given away, and uh, I'm always adding to the boxes, uh, basically, ideas anyway. So before I go any further, I would like, if you've got some ideas, please let me know. I've got a couple of ideas more that I would like to do, and one is the, I've been doing a lot of fishing videos, as you probably realise, and a lot of people asking about the dry flies of fish. So uh, I may concentrate on doing a few dries, especially the the patterns I've been tying, or for, sorry, fishing, and uh, much like the... I had a few variants of the Dynamite Harry and they've uh, been fishing really well. So the other thing was uh, caddis flies. I tied quite a few caddis flies and fished one or two. Uh, I'll be doing a, a box of them. So I'll, I'll be an extra two boxes hopefully for next month. Uh, on to the list that I've got. I'm probably some minus whatever. Wins today uh, it's got a choice of seven boxes. So um, it's, we'll just see how it goes, we'll, it develops, it's just it's an ongoing thing, it just go with the flow as they say, and uh, it's just basically, the, I just like, like to thank you for all the support, and it does help, it, it basically helps me to film, uh, it gives me more time, spend more time in the river, which I don't mind doing, it's great fun, but at the same time I'm filming down there. Uh, had, some issues uh, with the, the new GoPro, I got a GoPro in June and I actually thought it was myself it was going wrong but it was uh, the GoPro itself, it was overheating and it basically it wasn't, it kept cutting out and I didn't realise it was doing this uh, while I was filming so when I come back home to do the, the editing I never really noticed it first but when you start to actually uh, author the video, I was getting pieces missing, and I had some really good footage as well. Lots of hours I've lost, <laughs> and then I went through the the speaking to customer service and basically try to sort the faults, get the faults of the or the faults of the, the GoPro sorted, and uh, but it's now getting replaced. Uh, it's in the post somewhere. I'm not sure when I'll get it. But the season's coming to an end now, uh, well the trout season finishes the 6th of October. Uh, I got a day yesterday, I just uploaded the video, you may have seen the, the new video I put up. It was just an hour, the weather was great, I knew that today was to be rough. And I thought well, I'll rush there, I'll go down for a couple of hours. And I was lucky enough I got two or three trout and a couple of grayling, so as I say it was just a couple of hours. And it was good fun. And uh, which is walking up and down the bank anyway. So anyway, things seem to be going, I mean, going really well. Uh, I'm going to be talking probably near the end of the video, some ideas of things I may want to, uh, I was going to give away some items, but just now what we're going to do is we're going to go to, have a look through the boxes now, I'm going to lift each box up and basically uh, if your num if this number comes up, you, you look at these boxes and then you make a choice. Come uh, once I send the email to you, obviously congratulating you for uh, your number coming up, and then you can pick what box you like. So the first box I'm going to show, I'll just go through them. Uh, I know you like to see them anyway. So what we're going to do is the first box. This is a uh, this is a box that I'd be using come in the winter. This is the uh, the box for the grayling, uh, that flies I love fishing. Uh, some of the, uh, the fluorescent beads which do help when the water's a bit dark and coloured, uh, which you do get in the winter months. Uh, or in your fishing deeper holes, uh, these seem to work extremely well. And these are patterns that, uh, to be honest with you, I've, I'd like to win this box myself. Because uh, I could do a few of these just now. And uh, this one up here, this, this top one, this olive version. Uh, to say that's, that's probably been the best one this year so far, uh, especially with the bead side. But anyway, that's one of the boxes. That's uh, there's one for trout and grayling. Uh, basically, to say, a tungsten beads and so on in there. 
Now there's 70 in that box. Now another box that uh, I've actually was fishing one or two of the flies. I've actually fished a couple of the flies in here and the reason being is I get asked uh, do you fish with any of the flies in the box? And I do and I actually fished with two of these. I took this box with me to lock down and uh, the cloak dabbler fished well. Unfortunately it fished well in the video that didn't work. It was one of the ones that uh, get corrupted so but anyway the the blue zulu that one and the the cloak dabbler of the the dunkeld was really good so anyway these are a great selection of flies these are great style of flies and i have two or three boxes for that now in that one there's uh, 74 in that one and this one here there's 79 in this box now this is a it's a still water box, we've got the, the shuttlecock patterns uh, We've got quite a few different colours there, they're all yellows and so on uh, We've got like the all rounders there, half hogs A couple of three or four styles there Then we've got the Midas and the uh, sort of leggy caddis Great great flies, these are a good selection of patterns for the locks and still waters So that's another one of the boxes You see there's 79 in that and then here's another one, this is a still water box. This one's got the main, like the midge patterns. So obviously got the midges at the midge patterns at the bottom, dial backs, crunchers, uh, snatchers, uh, cormorants, the top here in different colours. And again the colour combinations are all uh, basically proven colours that work extremely well. And these patterns, I know one or two of these flies are won a competition or two over the years so uh, this here is a good box and that's another one now this one has 88 flies in it so now we're going on to a couple of boxes, a couple of salmon flies by a box uh, this one here, it's a selection of flies, uh, shrimp patterns, small hair wings rips, rock steady patterns but you can fish really anywhere uh, especially for the salmon and these are all tied in doubles and they're from size 12s up, so there's a, a good selection there that would get you by throughout the season. And uh, in that box there's 30. And this one here, now this is, basically it's got the flamethrower style flies, but this one has some singles at the top. Again, some nice patterns there, good colours. Uh, some other, it's a great selection all the way through and again I think there's some size 12s, stench of stoats all the way up to the bigger sizes and another good selection of flies now there's 33, oh, sorry, no, there's 36 in that one so uh, again it's one to have and then finally we've got the large, the larger box this one this is a salt water box, both for I mean, salt water fish uh, a lot of sea trout style flies there, all the way up, tied in the flat wing style, clousers, truders, and basically quite a few shrimp patterns there as well. Even the Rogan's gadgets there, so the clousers down here. So great patterns and shrimp patterns that you can't, I mean they're all good proven patterns. So anyway, and in that box, there's 50 in that box, so it's a good size box too and it's watertight. So, and obviously then we've got the flies, but the first number we're going to draw is for the box of flies, so if you're always lucky, if your number comes up, just rewind, go through the boxes whenever you, if you're happy with, just you decide what one you want, just then obviously let me know. But I will be in touch with everyone, I'll be emailing them to say, uh, well done, and uh, please could you get in touch. So anyway, we're going to draw for the box of flies. Now, as you can see, I've got a, I've got to mention what it is. It's a number generator, and basically what this is, uh, it's an app that I've downloaded from Apple, and it's uh, I just press generate. Uh, it's the numbers are there between one and three hundred and thirty. So basically, within that there, there's obviously somebody's got a number. So first thing I'm going to do, and this is for the choice of the, like there's seven fly boxes, so you. Whatever number comes up here has a choice of one of those boxes. So anyway, the numbers for that for the fly box is sixty-seven. Number sixty-seven. So well done. 
excuse me, number 67. I will be in touch. And uh, uh, you can, oh, as I say, go through the beginning of the video and uh, you'll see what Flybox you would like and just I'll get it sent to you as soon as possible. Now, we're going to go to the, the flies. This is the, the flies here. And in this month's flies, well, there's 14 I'm going to be giving away. Uh, obviously, all the flies that I've tied in the, the videos as well as a, an odd extra fly and I've got basically I, I was filling a box of caddis patterns and I decided just to break it up so but anyway first fly I'm going to be giving away is this one here now this is this I didn't tie this on YouTube uh, but I, I did obviously put the picture up and a huge interest in the fly now uh, this fly took me, took me just over two hours to tie and it's tied on a basically equivalent to a 7 0. It has the traditional blind eye hook, it's got the gut eye, and it's got seven segments of bodies, uh, different colours all the way up, and in between each are uh, hackles. There's ostrich hair of different colours, there's ribbon, there's it's a huge amount of work. It's, it's a lovely pattern, and now this is from the. There was two flies that were basically. There was a famous fly tie called Wong and Blacker. And, and the two ghost flies, there was two flies found and there were these two flies were basically tied by William Blacker. Just because of the style more than anything, it's not 100% but everybody says they are, so and I, and I believe that as well. Uh, but anyway, this is one, this is a, one that I've tied and it's, it's not exactly the same but it's at least, I would say about 90% is the original materials. So we're going to do a number for this one. The number for the blacker fly. Two hundred and seventy-three. It's two hundred and seventy-three. Now this is one I, I did tie uh, on, you, on YouTube uh, again. It's a large fly. It's like same size hook. It's got eyes. I mean, you can fish these. You could fish that other fly as well, but they're more framed. Uh, most people frame them up now. Uh, and this is the Glantana. Uh, it's a nice pattern, slight variant in the wing that I used, but again, it's a, uh, basically I tied it, I found the feather uh, down, down the river, and it sat in my desk for a wee while and I decided to tie a fly with it, so, and I filmed it at the same time, so, I'm going to give this one away, and the number for that one is... 196. It's 196. Now we're on to this one here. This is a Carrie Stevens fly. It's called the the Green. I'm trying to get my glasses on. I think it's the Green Beauty. We're going to call it the Green Beast there, but it's not. It's a it's a lovely fly. I like the colour. It's a great colour combination, and uh, Carrie's flies were amazing. Like so, and uh, I like tying them. And this is tied on the the partridge, the Carrie Stevens fly, uh, hook that they tie or they designed or tie, uh, made, produced many years ago. Quite hard to get them now, like, but there's a it's a good size. You can see it's a really big fly. So we'll draw a number for this one. Eighty-eight. Number eighty-eight. Then this is a, a YouTube fly. It's one I tied. I think it's the first one's the one I filmed and tied, and the rest are some extras for you to have a cast with. You can see there. I think there's six. Uh, the rest of the rest are six. So basically. Uh, a good fly. I was fishing. This is one of the flies I was fishing in lockdown, and this was the best in the day that I was filming. Uh, but anyway, we'll, we'll draw a number for this one. Two hundred and eighty-five. So it's two hundred and eighty-five. Then this is a onto another fly, the Viati Black. This is a. It was a basically a friend of mine asked me could I film and and tie this one. And again, I've tied some extras. Uh, obviously, they have a cast with. Uh, nice pattern, really. I've uh, got some fish in lockdown with this one as well. Um, it's perfect colours. It's a lovely fly. So anyway, we're going to draw a number for that. 92. Number 92. Number 92. Then I went to, obviously, in the last few videos I've been up, uh, I was fishing the river. Uh, the one I put on this 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 is a this is a grey duster. The lacking grey is the one with the the kind of 
yellow body on it. Uh, the, the, this is the one I was fishing uh, on, I can't remember when I put the video up, but it was, wasn't it that long ago, three or four days ago. And this pattern, really, really a deadly wee fly. It's tied in the Dynamite Harry, it's a grey duster version. And again, I filmed one of these uh, on YouTube, and so obviously I've tied some extra uh, for you to have a, have a go with. So we'll draw a number for them. 123. 123 for those. And then we're going to go into the Cadis. Cadis pupas, and now this one is a McPhail Gold Organza Cadis pupa. It's quite a lot of a mouthful there, but it's basically the, it's a McPhail Cadis pupa, but with the uh, gold-coloured uh, Organza ribbon for the body and obviously the rib. A lovely pattern, and uh, I never have enough of these in my box. I never, I always, I go through them like the fish love these type of this type of fly. And uh, as I say, I filmed one of these, I think it's the first one again. And then the extras, they're free to have a cash with. So, we'll draw a number for these. 243. There's 243 for those. Now there's five in there. Now, we're going to some, I've got a couple of patterns here, but this this is the, one of them, this is the Midas. Again, uh, it's a... It's basically the Cicadis version of the Midas that I used in, in the river. Uh, it's a great fly. It really works extremely well. See if you in the locks and, and the rivers, this fly will work all day. And uh, as long as you've got a reason, a good colour combination, you'll not go far wrong. So I'll draw a number for these ones. 82. Number 82 for those. Then we've got another one here, this is just a slightly lighter version. Again, uh, another great fly. Um, we've got a nice blend of the UV into the thorax. And as you see, there's a few there. I mean, I have, I have, I think I've got a pattern, I've got this pattern on YouTube anyway, so you'll be able to copy it. So anyway, that's, we'll draw a number for these. 318. Number 318. Now we've got another, this is the leggy Cadis version, this one's got the, it's just basically off the original, it's just, it's much the same in a way, but it's, originally you could call it the leggy Cadis or the, the Midas, I know they either both work, uh, as I say I was, I was actually putting a box of flies together and, and I decided just to break it up, so this is why there's so many of these, so we'll do another, there's another six of these you can be a cast with, and this one here, this is the, the orange and brown, so we'll do a number. 40. Number 40 for those. Now, this is the last set here. This is the the, the Invictor version, as I called it. It's because you get Invictor yellow in the body. Uh, it's just the Invictor, it's a break up of the Invictor if you think about it. Uh, and it's a, if it's a colour combination, you can't go far wrong. If you're going to, if you've got a good style, you can have an old pattern. You can break it up in the colour combination and you know you're not going to go far wrong and this is a great style and it works in any colour or most colours anyway so but the Invictor version is one I would recommend so we'll draw a number for this one 307 number 307 now well, these are like uh, I'm on to the last three and what these are, it was just a started a river box, and I, before I got any further, I started, I decided just to break it up. So we've got the March Browns. Uh, I mean, it's the March Browns, obviously good when March Browns coming off in March. Uh, and this is the wet fly, obviously, but it's a great fly all through that you can fish it. Especially in the locks as well, like this, this part is great. So it is, I mean, it's obviously a good river fly. So if I draw a number for these. And the number is... 137. 137. The next one is just a, a lighter version of that. And a well-known traditional soft tackle. Where we've got the partridge in orange. And the March Browns are coming off. This is a great partner as well. And uh, uh, it's the early season that works really. I mean, you can catch fish right throughout the season with it, depending on the size you're tying. Now there's, I think there's size 12s and size 14s in there, so you have a good cast with them. 
So we'll draw a number for the passage in orange. 68. Number 68. And finally we've got, these are some, I started tying some iron blues. Here's some iron blues. Now I do have these videos on the internet, so you'll be able to find them on YouTube. Uh, and this is just, there's five of these ones. Uh, I think there's two sizes. I think there's three size 12s and two 14s. A good early season fly in again, fish is right, you can fish throughout the season and it will fish in the locks as well. So it's the last number and the number for the iron blue duns is number 96. So there we are. That's another good selection, there's a, quite a few I've got, I'll get them posted uh, as soon as I can. Unfortunately, as far as I know, we're the post office is in strike, <laughs> so maybe Monday, uh, hopefully they'll be back to work by Monday uh, and I'll get them posted as soon as I can. Uh, there may be a wee bit of delay, I don't know, uh, the knock-on effect from the strike, but we'll see. But there we are folks, that's again the September draw is, is by. Now, just before we go, I want to say, well firstly I'm going to go to thank you again for all your, all your help and support. Uh, and what I'm going to talk about is maybe next month I've got everybody I'm going to show you the rod of the rod I've been fishing I've got it out of this bag now this is uh, the, the dry fly rod I've been, I've been using this, uh, the cadence, it's a Stevie Munn version it's well Stevie designed behind the, these rods from uh, with the company cadence and uh, this is a so it's basically a lovely rod to use, a grey dry fly, wet fly rod, 9 foot 4 weight, so you get a wee bit extra length for controlling the weights and if you want to fish nymphs. But I have fished it for the last 3 or 4 months and uh, every time I use it I just enjoy it. Uh, I enjoy using it and it's a nice light, there's no weight in it at all. Uh, 4 pieces you can see, comes obviously in the tube, but I'm going to get in next month's draw, I'll be given I'll either give this one away, the one I've been using, uh, or I'll be giving a brand new one away. Uh, we'll see. I'll wear the brand new one probably. I can't give you a used one. Uh, you can see the handle starting to get a bit grotty. But that just gives character to your rod. But anyway, there we are. I'll be giving away this 9 foot, a 9 foot 4 weight cadence uh, next month's draw. So, um, first I've got to thank Cadence for uh, offering me the rod. It's really kind of them. And uh, it's, I mean, I, I don't normally, as I say, if I get something, I'm happy to share everything. If to be honest with you, if I've got something extra, I'm quite happy to, if I'm not using it, I would pass it on. So, but anyway, next month we'll be giving the nine foot four weight away, so that'll be fun. We'll see how it goes. And uh, I either be sending it direct to whoever's number's drawn, or I'll get the cadence to forward it on, so... We'll see how, how it goes. And then throughout the winter we'll, we'll do wee, wee extras. Just because we'll be bored sitting in the house and we always like an extra thing or two to give away. So we'll see how it goes anyway. But eh, that's us for September. I've got a wee list of things here I want to say. Make sure I remember. As you get older you need a wee list. So, but anyway, that's us everyone. Uh, as I say, thanks again. And... Uh, Get out there and fish. I'm going to be fishing through the the winter. I'm going to give. Hopefully, I'll get a, a few days for the grail. And our salmon season ends the end of October, and uh, I've only got maybe I've only got three or four days left uh, that I've got a chance to fish for the salmon. But the this time of the year they do get a bit red, and I'm not that keen in fishing for them. But if it means going out for a day's fishing, I'll do it, and uh, I'll just. Be careful and put them back nicely if we do catch a fish, if we're lucky enough anyway. So anyway, until next time, and until the end of next month, next month's drop, just to remind you, I'll be on the 31st, which will be, is a, just looking the calendar, is a Monday. So look forward to it, and as I always do, and I know you do, and until next month.